the Nick 10, and last year you talk about a team that had a great season. Uh, they won a share of the uh, Nick 10. They also beat Boylan for the first time in school history, and one of our fun coaches to be around, Belvedere Norse, Jeff Beck, and congratulations, Coach, on a great season last year. I don't think we've talked since that time, but uh, a great year for your kids. Well, thank you very much. We, we definitely appreciate it over at North, and our kids uh, had a great season last year, and we're looking to build off that success uh, for this upcoming season. I was going to say, it's it's kind of a different year coming in now. You're coming in as the defending conference champs, and everybody's going to be kind of looking at you guys because you guys, you know, had a pretty good offense last year and put some points on some teams. You know, how how are you guys going to handle that kind of coming in maybe with a, maybe a different mentality, I guess, since, since you guys, since teams are going to be coming after you this year? Well, I, you know, I think our, our kids this year really learned a lot from last year's seniors. Um, that, that group of kids was really knew how to win and they really knew how to be successful um we replaced 20 out of 22 starters oh wow <clears throat> the team makeup the, the kids are is completely different so you know, we we said from day one of summer camp last season is done with you know it's time for you to to write your legacy uh you know for your career you know, and uh but I, I do think that last year's group of seniors really did teach our kids and really get our uh, program heading in the right direction. So, you know, we've had a very competitive, very physical off season. Um, so, we're excited about what we have. You know, I think the interesting thing to see, you know, last year you guys had that great receiver uh, quarterback combination, a great passing offense last year. Do you guys have the uh, the athletes, I guess, still around where you can run a similar offense, or might we see some some different changes with different players in now? Yeah, well, it's going to look a lot different. <laughs> it's going to look a lot. It's going to look a lot different. Um, our lower levels last year went to uh, primarily uh, an option attack, uh, and that's what we'll be doing with the varsity level this year. Um, so, ball won't be in the air nearly as much. Um, but yeah, we feel really, really good about the the players that we have. Um, you know, our quarterback is a it is a three sport athlete. You know, very explosive kid. Um, you know, our there were a couple running backs that. All service the slot backs for us. One of them was Jared Cantu from last year's team. Mm-hmm. Um, he's one of our, our two starters, a very, very dynamic football player, both running and receiving the ball. Um, so we're really happy. You know, we, we have more size up front on the offensive line than we've ever had uh, before at North. So you know, we're really excited about, about that group of kids, even though it's going to look a little bit different. You know, a change like that, at least for week one, has got to be nice because that means any tape anybody has on you is probably pretty worthless right now, right? Yeah, you know, and like I said, our lower levels, we're, we're running, uh, you know, exactly what we'll be running on all three levels this year. Um, so I know teams have an idea of what we're doing. And they've at least seen it before. Um, so, yeah, it, it is going to be nice, you know, going into that week one game uh, without teams, you know, varsity teams having a lot of film on it. Uh, you know, at the same time, we're going into a week one game against Jefferson, and we don't really know what to expect either. So uh, we don't know uh, offensively, defensively, what we're going to see either. Who is that quarterback that you have, the three-sport quarterback? What's, what's his uh, name? Bennett O'Connell. Okay. And uh, be a junior for us this year. Wow, that's pretty good. You like having a guy that you can kind of build for a couple years too, don't you, Coach, a little bit? Absolutely. And we went into this summer with, you know, kind of looking at three different quarterbacks and wanted to see who would, you know, kind of separate themselves from the group. And, and he really did. Uh, he ran that offense last year as a sophomore uh, pretty well, and he kind of separated himself from that group of three kids. And uh, as we head into Monday, you know, he'll be our number one on the depth chart, and things can always change. But uh, he's done a great job so far this summer of, of leading our kids. You know, uh, you guys have run a good offense for a couple of years. I thought what really made the difference for you guys last year is the defense really stepped up uh, and played a much more physical style and was really able to do well. Obviously, you're replacing some starters, but do you feel like you've got some some of that same ability coming back this year? Yeah, again, the, the makeup of the kids is different, you know, but that's that happens every year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to be a lot smaller, uh, quicker on defense, um, but just as aggressive. Uh, and that was the thing that I think really helped us last year was uh, our aggressiveness on the defensive side of the ball, getting off the blocks and tackling well. Um, it really kept us in a lot of games. You know, the, the game that pops in my head you know, is, is the Auburn game. Our offense was really, really struggling that game, and our defense gave up one score early on the very first drive of the game. 
after that, really just toughened up the rest of the game and was able to keep Auburn you know, from scoring again and give our offense a little bit of time to get going. How important is it for those two returning starters to be leaders for you this year, Coach? Uh, it's essential. I mean, you know, they, they were the ones that, you know, from last year's group, uh, from that, that very successful 8-1 and one team we had, were out on the field you know, most of the time with those seniors and learning from them and you know, making an impact. And we have a great group of seniors in general. We have 26 seniors, big group, just like we did last year, that are excited to, to get their opportunity. You know, they've kind of been behind that class that just went through, uh, that, you know, has had success at just about every level. And they're very, very eager to kind of write their own story. And I think that's something I'm looking forward to as a coach. I want to see how that group does. And when you've got a group like you had last year, obviously you want to break from that at some point, you know, and, and, and have the next group take over. But have, did those kids, you know, maybe stick around a little bit, you know, the last half of the school year as they're finishing up in the weight room or maybe in the summer as they're getting ready to go to college? Did they kind of stick around a little bit to maybe kind of push those kids that are going to be taking over for them? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, we have, from that group of seniors last year, we have seven kids going to play college football. So they were in the mm-hmm. weight room constantly with our kids. They've been out on the practice field this summer, you know, coming out and helping out and, you know, it's just, just watching, you know, and just, just talking to the kids and keeping an eye on them. And, you know, it's it's been a great group of kids. It really has. I just had lunch with them yesterday uh, before uh, a lot of them head off to college. And, you know, they, they're they a great group of kids, and I think they're going to be successful at the next level. And they helped out all the way through the end of the school year and into the summer as well, and they continue leading. Uh, you know, their legacy is definitely, uh, you know, firmly in place at Belvedere North. Did you buy them lunch, Coach? Oh, no, I couldn't I couldn't <laughs> buy lunch for all those guys. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're a good coach. That's what I like about you. Hey, let's talk special teams. How's the special team look for the Blue Thunder this year? Yeah, it's going to look solid. You know, we return uh, both kicker and punter. Uh, All-conference kicker for us last year, Luis Garcia. Yeah, he was good. Very good. Yeah, and, uh, you know, he's. He's got a lot of pop in that leg, and we share him with our soccer program. But he, he, he does uh, he does his football thing, and then he goes over and does his soccer thing, and he's pretty good at both of them. So uh, we're lucky to have him, and we're trying to groom some younger soccer players in the program to come out and help us out in the football team. You know, as you look around the conference going into the year, you know, Auburn's been building a, a good program there. Hananiga, you know, returns a lot of players from last year. You've always got Boylan and Harlem right there. You know, we talked to the Freeport coach earlier. They've really been building up a good program. Belvedere's, you know, been right there the last few years. You know, how tough is it going to be in the conference this year? And who who do you maybe identify as maybe some of the top contenders? Well, I think all the teams you just named, uh, you know, I think the – Parity in the, the, the league is, is becoming closer and closer. And you know, I think that I, I hope that had a little bit to do with our success over the past couple of years that, you know, beating some of those big three teams, you know, kind of gave other people the, you know, the feeling, hey, we can take out anyone in, in any week. And, um, yeah, I, I just really think we have a really quality you know, league in the Nick 10. And uh, it's interesting to see what's going to happen up at the, the top. You know, there's going to be, you know, some things shifting around and, I don't think it will always be there. A very well coached, very talented team. Auburn's got talent off the charts, and you know they're they're really starting to click on all cylinders. And it's going to be really interesting to see where you know things are at midway through the season, and then again at the end of the season. You know the schedule flipped. Are you glad not to have that Belvedere game sitting there very first week? Yeah, well, you know it's always nice to play, to play Belvedere. Our kids get up for that game. Our our school gets up for that game. Our community gets up for that game. So. You know, really anywhere they're on, on the schedule, it's, it's great to play them. It's great to have that rivalry. Um, you know, but at the same time, last year it was, you know, a little added importance that it was week one and we wanted to go on the right foot, uh, right off the bat. And, you know, it was a big one. So with the, with the schedule shifting a little bit, you know, it, I think it takes a little bit of pressure off the game for our kids because it's not over there in week one, but at the same time, you know, we've been preparing the same way. And, you know, like I said, our, our coaching staff, our kids, you know, we don't know what to expect from Jefferson, so it's got to be, you know, one of those things where we have to be ready for anything. we got to be prepared in week one. Well, thanks, Coach, for taking some time out today, and we appreciate it. Uh, good luck during the season, and uh, hopefully we'll get to see you play a couple times this year. Thank you very much for having me on. I appreciate it.
We've been talking to Belvedere North head football coach Jeff Beck. I'm sure they have a nice place for that trophy that they won. Um, I'm sure they got it uh, displayed very, very nice in the you school to, there. You had to watch some of his post-game speeches. He does one of the best ones in the area. We got him online, too. Check him out on statelinesportsup.com. 